Hey everyone, I have part two of our Blue Dot toys. So if you are interested in the toys that will be going to a penny tomorrow, October 15th, then just keep watching this video. But as always, you're going to want to scan when you're in store to confirm that the item you are holding is a penny item and not a newer item at full price. Let's get into it. Now, when you're at Dollar General, make sure you go down every aisle, even the food aisle. Because as you see at this one, they store toys down every darned sky shelf in the store. This one was down the food aisle. Always, always, always check up high, guys, all right? Because the majority of your penny items tomorrow are going to be hiding there. We've got a couple more on top of, like, the macaroni items. <sighs> Like, it, it's outrageous how much stuff is up there, guys. Um, and it's going to be difficult to get down to scan. So, I went through all that. I don't think any of those are what I'm looking for, though. They're all yellow star or blue star or yellow dot. All right, so they were even down, like, the cookie aisle. They had the baby dolls up there. There's just an absurd amount of toys. But I did not find any of the ones that were following um, not on the top shelves, but see, before this, these top shelves were even more packed with toys, but they have gone through them since the last time I was at this store, which was during the clearance event. When I was there then, they had Blue Dot toys everywhere. My guess is they took them out for the clearance event, and they have already pulled them and put them in the back. Unfortunately for me. Maybe you will get lucky, though, so don't just take my video and be like, oh, she didn't find nothing, so I won't either, because that's not true at all, all right? That's not true. You might still find stuff. Now, I did find these little masks hanging on a clip strip down the toy aisle, and these are blue dot items, so these I should be able to go back and pick up for a penny tomorrow. These were the only penny items I found in this store, along with these Spin Brights wheel lights. Every year before this, they have been excluded for some reason. This year, these bad boys are included. All right, y'all, so don't forget to look up and down. Check those clip strips because you never know what you're going to find. End caps are also a great place to look. Heck, this store had stuff above the coffee. You just really never know where you are going to find some of these items, y'all. And when Yellow Dot Toys went, like maybe last year, I scored huge on the toys looking on sky shelves. But you're going to want to go to your disorganized stores, okay? Disorganized. Your stores that have it all together and they pull their items, they're not the ones you want. Because you want the stores who haven't done their stuff in years and they've still got the stuff on the sky shelves. That's what you want. So if you have an older store with lots of stock, not that many workers, I would definitely put priority on those. Um, because as for me, none of the stores in my area have anything. I'm gonna go back, get these lights tomorrow, but that's probably all I'm going to find. So I did some more searching in other stores and I just searched clearance toys and I looked at the prices that were 90% off. So if you see something for like 50 cents and it's like an item that's not supposed to be 50 cents, you'll know that's following and it's sitting at 90% off. That's what's gonna go to a penny tomorrow. So if you would like, go ahead, type clearance toys in your browser and you can even fix your search and like the results to show the lowest price items first and just go through every single one of your stores and you will find all kinds of stuff that's following. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's in stock, but the fact that it's showing up at that store might mean something. I hope you realize what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't mean it's got to be there, but there's a good chance that it still might be. I should have probably told you about this. There's an art skills create your own neon sign kit. This is a dollar right now if you find them in your stores. Make sure you scan because there are definitely full price items that are the same with a different color dot. Some of these Disney glitter paint by number art kits. I have seen these with the books and occasionally they are down the toy aisle. 
and sometimes I see them with accessories. So it just kind of depends. Um, just look around, check the book aisles, check where they put the journals, and check toys. We've got an aerial paint little kit. It's the same as the mini, it's just with Ariel and the Little Mermaid. So if you see this with the blue dot, make sure you scan to confirm that it is the right item. Also got scratch art little sets and it comes in mini and the Little Mermaid. Even got these little Marvel and Disney Junior Spider-Man and his amazing friends art activity kit. We've got that in Paw Patrol as well, and I have seen these around, so I'm hoping if I go to some new stores on Tuesday, maybe I'll get some more visuals for y'all. All right, we've got the My Little Pony art activity kits. And we've got these little Baby Touch Learning phones. They come in pink and blue. These are coming up 50 cents right now in the app, and that is how I know that they are following the Blue Dot toys. Also, the Blue Dot on the package. So got these little paint with water kits. They are 10 cents right now. They're normally a dollar. These are the kind of things that are going to be on clip strips or like little hanging things like on the end caps, on the side of the end caps. Got the Baby Shark craft kit. This is to make a little puppet. Tons of puzzles, y'all. Last year when toys went, I got so many puzzles. They might even be still sitting in my garage. I mean, I gave most of them away and donated, but I still think I have a few floating around in there. Anyhow, make sure that you are scanning these. A lot of these do not have a dot on them. The only way you're going to know is by scanning it, and if it comes up, 0.00 or 0.01. So make sure you are scanning. Most of the puzzles, again, are not going to be marked. You're looking for the Sherlock's brand. See that little puzzle on the bottom left hand of the box? That's what you're looking for. They do vary in size. You have the like 300 count puzzles, the 500, and then the 1000, which are obviously the more smaller puzzle pieces that my cats like to steal while I'm working on puzzles. We enjoy the hometown collection puzzles. They are always so bright and colorful and just fun to work on. Okay guys, we've got this little electronic learning board. It is a blue dot toy for babies. They have this one in the like blue trim and then this one with pink. We've got Peppa and George. Just make sure you're scanning because while I was out in the stores looking for these items, I did see these that were new and I scanned and they were $10. So if you scan and it's $10, that's the new item. All right, we've got these on-the-go classic games sets. They are in these little, like, um, bags that, you know, the little play packs come in. And they might even be hanging down your clearance aisle. Could even be down the regular toy aisle, just hanging on the pegs. Or even with, like, the books. And we've got more of the Sherlock's puzzles. This is like a weeping willow. I don't know, or is it a wisteria? I don't know, either way, it's a tree. And we've got this cute little schoolhouse and hills. It's really like country looking and charming. So we've also, Got this one here, and there's actually so many puzzles, y'all. I, I know I didn't get them all. Then there's this one. It's um, an artist rendered one, so that one's pretty cool. I have put this one together before. Then you've got like an old castle. Got 
a lovely little town here with a nice little bridge. Last of these jigsaw puzzles is this pretty colorful cupcake one. Got this cute little sketchbook set. This is what I really would like to find. It's the Art Skills Putt and Play Tiki Safari. It is a little like putting game. It's so cute. We've also got these Baby Alive dolls. I really wanted to find one of these umbrella strollers for y'all, but I could not. So if you see these in your store, make sure you scan them. We've got the Paw Patrol Don't Drop Chase game. And we've got Protect the Penguin, same game as the previous one. We've got these Style Friends dolls. These Style Friends princess dolls. these Headstrom Super Reels Stretchy Dinosaurs. They are following. Forget about our little remote controls. These could be down your baby aisle. We've got these Marvel masks. This one is for Black Panther. This next one is Iron Man. And these are what I found in my store. I believe I saw three of these masks in the Spin Brights wheel lights. And that is all. But I am going to try to get out there and find you guys some more visuals with the UPCs. If I can find any stores with anything still in stock. I do not believe that these have a dot on them at all. These might be hidden clearance. These are the Briar Horses, and there are several um, of them. There's even this little pink unicorn. Now, I know these horses are expensive. I know firsthand. So if we can get these for a penny, that will be a steal. These are actually called Briar Paddock Pals, so they are so cute. They come in all kinds of different horses. This is the last one. These two packs of Glimma Girls, I guess they are like Barbies. They have them in, I think, three different kinds with different, like, colored clothing on. So, I mean, if you can find these, just scan. Make sure that they are the blue dot ones because there are going to be yellow stars and blue stars of the same items that are going to be full price. Got a different kind of those treasure monster gold things where you have to break open stuff to get toys inside. Then we've got this cute little loopy loom. Got this cute little spiral art. We've got the glow in the dark bouncing balls. We've got the Style Friends doll clothes. Have this cute little play food. We've got the blue and the pink game controller. We 
You've got this Baby Shark Bath Art. It comes with bath crayons. We've got these super cute licensed musical sets. They have them in Blue's Clues. They also have them in Disney Junior Minnie Mouse. They also have it in Paw Patrol. We've got these little monster trucks and they come with like two bonus cars. These are Hot Wheels. We've got this adorable little Blue's Clues wooden like magnetic clothing snap-on toy. We've also got the wooden little magnetic toys in Love Diana. We've also got it in the JoJo. You can dress JoJo up. And we've also got it in Peppa Pig. And this one's super cute. You can dress Peppa for the day. I love Peppa and George. We've got several different kinds of these Headstrom little bouncing balls. This one is the Disney Princess. We've got it in Blue's Clues. We've got it in Spider-Man. And we've also got it in Paw Patrol. There's this cute little VTech Spin and Learn color flashlight. But again, make sure you're scanning because they do have newer versions of this stuff too that can look the same. It's just not the one on sale. Got this Mermazing Secret Diary set. We've got it in the Unicorn Secret Diary as well. There's this cute little construction truck kit and it comes with several different ones. Got this little baby doll carrier. We've got these little bath time babies. One of them comes with a cute little flamingo, and the other baby has a rubber ducky. There are these little Clever Kids Games. This is the counting game. This is the mathematics um, match and learn game. This one is for the alphabet. And this is the spelling game. Lastly, we've got this little pretend hair dryer set. It's a style kit, so look for that. And again, y'all, and just make sure you're scanning to double check. The worst feeling in the world is going up to that register and something scanning for full price when it was supposed to be a penny. I know the feeling. I have been there. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for sticking it out. I truly appreciate you, and I hope that these visuals help you find some awesome penny items on Tuesday. Well, I will talk to y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.